down to the last four. Both teams playing delightful football throughout the tournament, but who will progress to the World Cup final? Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson and a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's France against Morocco. Well, this could be an absolute classic and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabio in the centre of the park. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Nusair Mazraoui plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Bouffal in the wide positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the match begins. Sofiane Bouffal. This might have potential. And intercepted it. Making progress. Very straightforward for Hugo Lloris. Rafael Varane. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Really bright looking attack. But it wasn't a taxing save. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, over the years he's scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper and we know what the result is. And attempting the through ball and foiled only by the crossbar. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. And out of play for a throw-in to France. Giroud. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Well, here you can see it again. It's close, but it's certainly not over the line. The official's got that absolutely right. Played in by Griezmann. Rabiot. 
making sure nothing came of it he read the situation defensively and did his job it is to be a throw in Sufyan Amrabat very alert defending to cut off the supply Well, very effective play in possession. Well, possession seeded. Azadine Unahi. Ziyech. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. He's driven in the corner. And the danger's still on. Hakimi. Must score! I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Mbappe. Now with Rabiot. Oh, surely! And the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Hakimi. And Nesiri. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Dembele. Really good challenge. Well, beating his opponent. Bupal. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Hakimi. Yusuf and Nesiri. And the referee blows for a foul. Losing possession here. Plenty of support here. Useful looking ball. And a goal! The opening statement of the semi final. How important could that prove to be? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal! So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Upamecano. This is Varan. Griezmann. Strong but fair tackle. Sufyan Amrabat. Superb block, and he struck the post. On well, a time for composure on the ball. Well, France are hanging on here. Had they gone two down, they really would be up against it now. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure.
Couldn't keep it. Unahi. And it's with Amrabat. Amala. Bufal. Takes it on. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Shot attempted. Oh, a good diving save. How about the short corner? Hakimi. Bufal. Terrific block. Options in the centre. Constantly towards it. And so it is. The first half story has been written. So the ball is rolling again. France trailing after the first half. Can they find an effective response here in the second? Sofian Amrabat. Azadin Unahi. It did look on for them, but not to be. This might be ideal for the counter. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And continues his run. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? Couldn't quite hang on. And a time for cool heads. And he successfully got past him. Ziyech. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. A real opening now. Well, body in the way. He had to score, and he does. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then he's so calm with the finish. Cool as you like to round the keeper. And he slots it away so nicely. It's a really good goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Ziyech. Nayef Aguer. Now can they make something happen? A well, disappointing end to the move. Mbappe. And support available. Tempele. Jules Kunde on the ball. Great opportunity. Well kept out. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Possession one. Ziyech. And slipped through beautifully. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Going short. Hakimi. Must be. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Griezmann. Mbappe he's got space 
Dembele must be, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Who can he pick out? Just couldn't capitalise there. They've got it now, what can they do? They could nudge in front. Still could be dangerous. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. And he knocked it over the touchline, so it will be a throw-in here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the counter looks on here, options available. They need to get bodies back. Brilliant save! And over comes the corner. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. The clearance wasn't decisive. And very deftly cut out. Well, that'll be a free kick. Very quick thinking there. Racing away here. Crossing must take the lead here. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Ten minutes left for play. Did well to win the ball back. Can they nudge in front late on here? Got to it easily, the keeper. And they have possession again. Sofian Buffal. Plenty of support here. Just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Teo Hernandez. And France pushing forward with options available. Tempele. convert but into the keeper's gloves still pushing for what could be a winner Buffal now showing excellent judgment to intercept to the advanced position what can they do from this corner the minutes ticking away in this game so a personnel change then go, go, go. he's driven in the corner they cannot be separated here and it's on to extra time
Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Chance to cross. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. A very effective challenge put in. But well, attacking possibilities. Can't miss, surely! Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the semi-final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Griezmann. Jules Koundé on the ball. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them, and so it's going to be a free kick. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Clattered away. And he stopped them in their tracks. Oh, what an opportunity. But it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. Rafael Varan. Aurelien Chouameni. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Griezmann. And on the ball, Sabiri. Clean challenge. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, the referee has decided that the injury is sufficiently serious for play to be stopped. Treatment required. And a drop ball on the back of the stoppage. Griezmann. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Dembele, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Yahya Atiatala. 
and support available pretty simple for the keeper Aurelien Chouameni they are making headway but really they need a goal with time not oh a goal what drama here level pegging now and who's to say what will happen next well as you can see he doesn't mess about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top-class finish. Goal! And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Adrian Rabio. Rafael Varan. Now Rabio. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? Big chance! Oh, there it is! And surely we've witnessed the goal that will take them through to the final. Astonishing scenes here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Plenty of support here. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the best clearance. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. And the keeper more than equal to it. an opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one and the problem not completely solved well I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable and the reason it's off target because the technique was really poor on that occasion that's not a good effort that is how to apply the pressure say it officially now France will be in the World Cup final well it was always going to be tight but they just about had enough energy and quality in that extra time to take them through to the final yes there'll be some tired legs out there but they won't care about that what a final we've got in store for us